Athens is, uh, you know, it's it's a place that has been related uh, always with uh, civilization, and then we have the Acropolis, which is standing a little bit like he also has a the strongest identity as a monument. Uh, I would say, you know, globally, but then it's in a way. It also stands there a little bit as a ghost uh, of you know what it represents and how everybody relates to it uh, as a strong monument of civilization, as uh, some remaining columns that stand over the city uh, and haunt it. Uh, what what is it? What is this identity of this monument, and how are people uh, relating to it uh, now through this period? And uh, everybody in the planet, uh, as far as what this monument carries as uh, meanings and uh, as uh, vibration. So, I can say that this is a transcending period um, for this place, for Athens and for Greece in general. And uh, my impression is that um, it's also a transcending period for the whole planet. We're all, uh, I feel, uh, always through a process. Life is an ongoing process and uh, everybody's uh, through that. How, how things can go on uh, in spite of, you know, what happens. I feel that this is uh, This has an, a strong uh, meaning by itself.